Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going lovely. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we are going to create a project for Pretty Pink Posh and we are using the Cozy Fall Critters stamp set. This was part of last month's release and I haven't got a chance to use it, but these little guys are so cute. So I thought this would be a good time. Give us a nice break from holiday cards. There's some cute critters in here. There's four in total and then you get some fall leaves and some acorns. There's one sentiment that says, hello fall. We are going to stamp all but the chipmunk that's in the stamp set. So we have the little mouse, we have our squirrel, and then we'll take the little rabbit too that has a little scarf. I am going to stamp one of the pine cones and then one of the leaves and one of the acorns. We're going to ink everything up with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and we're going to stamp on some alcohol marker friendly cardstock and um, we're going to do a little bit of Copic coloring and um, these are perfect for that. Any kind of alcohol markers work great with Memento and Nina um, cardstock. I did leave the coloring in. I left the caps out for my markers, but sometimes it's hard to read. So I did list them up in the corner for you guys. But while I color, I'm gonna play a little bit of music. And I did speed up the coloring quite a bit just to shorten the video. But when I'm done coloring, I will catch you back. Okay, coloring is all done. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take our Cozy Ball Critters coordinating dies. We'll just use um, our nipping tool and separate these, line them up and tape them down. And then while we're die cutting, I'm also gonna bring in another die set from Pretty Pink Posh. This set is called Fall Foliage. And there is a, lots of pretty fall leaves in here, but I'm just gonna use the one. Um, it's a large, green leaf. I thought we would die cut out some pattern paper and I think the larger 
the better. That way you can see the print behind it. So we'll use this. We'll set this aside and I'm going to bring in just some scratch pattern paper. Um, sometimes I have a, a little pile of, of pattern papers and so I'm not sure what company this is from. But it has um, a small white little print on there and I think it's going to go good with this flourish. Now as I die cut everything out, I did two of the leaves and then I also created a frame using the scallop frame die set, the smaller one in the set. Um, and I thought we would just build a little scene. So let's bring in another piece of cardstock. This is like a brown tooth, um, houndstooth print. I'm trimming down a panel that measures four inches by five and a quarter. This way I'll have a little bit of a border on my card base. Next, I am going to bring in a piece of craft card stock. I, um, this was actually my scrap bin and it was it's like half of an oval. I thought it'd be a good piece to stamp my sentiment on. So that's what we're going to do next. I did treat that craft card stock with my anti-static powder tool and we're going to stamp happy fall or hello fall. And we are going a little bit more towards the right. Save a room, a little bit of room for the critter here. I'm going to go over my sentiment with white embossing powder. I stamped with Versamark ink and then I'm going to use my heat gun to melt it. We're going to add adhesive behind this and originally I was going to put it on the bottom um, but when I added my frame it just was way off. I didn't, I really didn't like it. So we're going to lift this up our little hillside and we're going to actually attach that to our frame. And when I did this, I actually picked up a little bit of the card, um, the pattern paper, but I think my frame will cover it. So I, if, we, if we can get lucky, I might have to go through my paper pad and find another background. But I just adhered my heel side to my frame, the excess overhanging I'm going to trim off. Um, by the time we get everything on there, I don't think you'll be able to see the heel side. But um, going through your scraps is, is nice because you can use those up. <laughs> Before I do add this to my panel, we're going to bring in some brown and white baker's twine. I'm adding it just uh, around once to the bottom of that craft cardstock and then I'll tie a bow off to the left. I already removed the release paper. I did pop it up with foam adhesive. I just removed the release paper and tacked it down first and then tied the bow. Sometimes it's easier if you do that way. Now we're going to take our leaf foliage, foliage and we're going to add one underneath here and then we'll add one just above the bow. And then I have three critters and it might be too many. So we might have to put one on the inside or save one for later. And I think we're going to use the squirrel and the bunny for this card today. Um, our little mouse will, will have to be for another card. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and pop those up, place those on our panel, add our little leaf right next to our little bunny, the uh, squirrels holding the acorn, and then our pine cone I put right above the little leaf that we colored in with our Copic markers. Okay, now for bells and whistles, I'm going to bring in some pearls. These are brand new to the shop. These are the espresso pearls. I think they're perfect for fall. We're going to add three different sizes to the sentiment, right next to the sentiment, and then two up in this top corner. I think they looked better on the white frame on the top area. And then I'm bringing in my glossy accents. I did, went over the noses of my critters and then the top of the acorn. Um, after we have this done, I realized I cover, colored in over my little um, critter's teeth. <laughs> so we are going to brighten those up with the white gel pen and then that finishes off my card for today guys. If you're interested in any of the products I'll list them down below but um, if you want to see still shots too head on over to my blog. I have um, pictures over there but thanks for joining me. Have a lovely day. We will see you again real soon. Bye bye.